What's up guys, this is Melissa. And this is Lorenzo. And today we're wearing black because it's Wednesday. Usually we're supposed to wear pink, but Lorenzo's a guy. So he doesn't want to wear pink. Well, if you watched American Horror Stories, you would know that on Wednesday we wear black. Well, new girls, I mean, me girls. You don't even know what the movie is. <laughs> mean girls say on Wednesdays we can wear pink, so you can sit next to me. Does that mean you can tell the weather? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, when it rains, when it rains, that means it's actually raining. <laughs> and like sometimes I think I can be psychic too. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got and some then, eyes. Whatever. And then oh, I'm that's why my hair is really big because it's full of secrets. Can I pull it? No. So, Melissa, what do you want to talk about today? Uh, let's talk about how Selena Gomez got back with Justin Bieber. Well, we think Selena Gomez got back with Justin Bieber because she's dumb. She's freaking dumb. We saw a video on Instagram and they were dancing together. Very sexual. Wow, oh, they were like, baby, grind with me. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> she got on top of them. Well, that's how people dance, Lorenzo. No. Selena Gomez got manners, supposedly, but she's back. Just because you dance like that doesn't mean you're dirty. She dirty. She was with Justin Bieber, he dirty. He got in trouble with the popo because of the drugs. But the popo? Well, Justin Bieber is stupid though. Okay. I freaking hate Justin Bieber. Like, he needs to go back to Canada. He really does. <laughs> eh? What? <laughs> he needs to go back to Canada. Canada. Canadians are like, eh? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He needs to go, eh, hey, mate? Well, that's Irish, isn't it? No, that's Australian, girl. You got no idea. Oh, girl. Time to put on the sunglasses of shame. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're still the gossip, Lorenzo. All right. Um, let's see what else. Oh, so I guess everyone felt this earthquake. <laughs> um, I don't feel no earthquake. Oh, me neither. I think it stepped right through it. People are weird, like on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Did you feel that earthquake? No, I didn't feel no earthquake. I was too busy sleeping. Like, really, I don't got no yeah. time for an earthquake. <laughs> you got time for an earthquake? I got no time for an earthquake. I need to get my boots sleep. You know how long this takes? This takes a long time. Oh, I bet it does. <laughs> I'm like, you want to take one minute. She has her, her book of makeup. You know, she just goes like this. <gasps> I'm in! You know what's funny? That this is a piano book. So? So how is that book of makeup? Well, I... Burps! <laughs> Bam! But anyways, yeah, I think it's up to the whole earthquake thing. My mom came downstairs and I was telling me, you okay? I'm like, what? Wait, did she say it in Spanish? Yo, Carol, Taco Bell! <laughs> no. <laughs> my mom just came downstairs and she told me, Ay, mija, earthquake Probably. <laughs> problem. <laughs> my mom talks like that? My mom talks English. English and Spanish. <laughs> Gosh. Because I'm Mexican, doesn't mean anything. But you eat rice and beans every day. Oh yeah, I do. Yes, I do. It's freaking delicious. Especially if you mix rice and beans together. <laughs> or if you just get some rice and you put some bananas in there. Damn! Ew. That's a, it's good! Brown rice. I mean, not the orange rice that they make. And you put some bananas in there. You put it in there. Ew, that's Okay, don't judge. Try Random it. Random food moments with Melissa. Try it. Like for uh, Starbucks. I'm not talking about that right now, right? Why not? Let's talk about Starbucks. Time to have a psycho psychological moment with Melissa. So, Melissa, about them Starbucks. What about Starbucks? You need to cut back your addiction. You know, she drinks one almost every day. It's bad. It's going to go straight to your thighs. Oh, I know. You're going to get the thunder thighs where it goes. Now, if you work out, no. You work out every day, you go when she work, When she runs, it goes like this when she runs. Uh, uh. Her thighs mm -hmm. clap together. <laughs> She's got her own applause when she runs. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it on the Not even. I bet you if you go running with me, you won't even last. <laughs> you won't. He will die. He will even die once he starts going to hell. He'll be like, I can't do this. Yeah, I probably would. Yeah, because I had people running with me before and he, they couldn't keep, like, keep up. Yeah, they messed me up big time. Ow, my ear itches. Is yours? Yeah, probably. I'm just like, yeah. But Starbucks, who are you talking about Starbucks on it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah! No. no. Anyways, Starbucks time. <laughs> so Green tea frappuccinos, my favorite. They're all right, they're all right. They're good. You can, okay, the ones that's good is the, the caramel frappuccino, a good. green tea frappuccino, good. a double chick, 
Double chick. Double chick. Uh, <laughs> Double chocolate chip. Double chocolate chip. Double chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. It's so good. It's like it's like chocolate milk, but it has little um, chocolate bits in there. Like chocolate chips. Yeah, it tastes good. And then if you want to be cheap, you can go with the tall um, caramel frappuccinos because it's only three seventy five. Mm -hmm. And then you want a medium drink, it's like four twenty five. And then the venti is like four ninety five. Like what the hell? No, I'm not even paying five. They're bucks expensive. It was like five dollars. Yeah, but let me tell you a trick. Okay, so half of my friends that work at Starbucks, right? And they tell me to do this. So you order a the small caramel frappuccino, but tell them you want it in a grande grande size, which is a medium frappuccino, but you just want the extra whipped cream or the extra coffee, and they would just charge you three seventy five. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. You yeah. should become a TLC. Oh no, not a TLC. The Food Network Starbucks. I should. You know, I should. Where they go around to yeah. Starbucks mm -hmm. coffee places. Yeah. Oh, I've done that before. Like. I make before I drink my Starbucks, or well, before I leave, I drink it, and if it does not come right, I'm like, this doesn't taste good. <laughs> I'm for real. No, I do the same. But today I gotta go to Starbucks because on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays my friend works at Starbucks, so I go get free. I go get some free Starbucks. Because she can't afford it. Starbucks makes you broke. I'm for <laughs> real. It does. It really does make you broke. They need to lower their prices down. <laughs> they really do. They should give me a discount. I'm already a gold member. I get free drinks on my birthday. And then I think I got a free drink yesterday. I went fancy. Stop doing that. This is Starbucks time, all right? This is what you're doing? This is what I'm doing. Oh, no more Starbucks. Starbucks.